Uh, we're sitting in the cab of a 4730 sprayer. Um, over here on our side console, at the very back, we do have an emergency uh, stop button here. Uh, when this button is engaged, this automatically locks the brakes on the sprayer. This is for emergency only. Um, it will be a one-time use. Normal operation, we can always leave it off because any time that you bring your hydro handle back to neutral, it will automatically set the parking brake. In front of it, we have all our manual boom section shutoffs. At any time, we can shut them off. So if you're spraying at a 60-foot boom instead of a 90, you can shut your outer booms off. Above here, we also have, this is just a warning light that comes on. This will come on at any time if the parking brake's on, uh, any time the sprayer sets a code, anything like that, it is on. It is just a caution light. In front of it is actually the stop light, meaning exactly what it means. Right here in front of it, this is actually our rate selection for the sprayer. All the way up top with this icon right here, that is when we are in manual spray mode. In manual spray mode, it will only run off of the pressure in the system. We also have three rate selects that we can program in our GS3, but this is where we are actually going to turn on the one that we want. Um, we do not push that in the screen, we actually select it down here with the knob. We have our three selections, and we also have a fourth one down here. If we go into the fourth one, this is for prescription spray rates. In the armrest in the armrest here, we have several options here. At the very back is a very simple manual ladder raise and lower switch. In front of that, we have our right and left fence row nozzles, if equipped. Right in front of that, this button here is our agitation on and off. And in front of that, we have our solution pump on and off. In our multifunction hydro handle here, we have several options. The one button here is our actual spray on and off button. It will light up uh, when indicating that the sprayer is on. We also have our transmission select right here, plus and minus. On a 4730, we have four gear selections. We also have our main boom, center raise and lower, left raise and lower, and right raise and lower. The button above this, this will sequen sequentially shut off boom sections as going through the field. If you do not have swath control, this is one way when you come up to the end, if you hit this button, it will actually start shutting off the sections from the right side to the left. The center button will turn all those sections back on. I'll move here, as you can see on top of our hydro handle, this will control our foam marker. We have right and left, and if you hit it right in the center and push the whole button down, that will shut the foamer off. On the side of the hand roll handle, you can see there is a number one and a number two button here. The number one button will activate our boom track, and our number two button will activate auto track. Now we're going to do the sequential mode to unfold the, unfold the booms. We're going to go ahead and use the dimmer switch again. And instead of using the main center boom button, we're actually going to use our left and right boom buttons. So we'll push in on the dimmer switch. We'll hold the left and the right boom in the up position. It will pick up out of the cradle. We'll release both buttons. We'll push our dimmer switch back in and then our boom left and our boom right lower. We will continue to hold these until the first boom section gets unfolded. Once we're there, we'll release both buttons and we'll push them another time to get our outer boom sections. And 
Now we're ready to spray. Here we have the solution system on a 4730 sprayer. Um, we start right here. This is your rinse tank fill. It's a two inch quick valve. Our second valve right here is our suction side. Where do we want to get our fluid from? Uh, we can either suck off the solution tank side or we can turn it to go to our rinse tank to do any of our tank rinses or boom rinses. Our next valve we have here, we can normally straight up and down. This is the other side, the pressure side of the pump. You can either have it go straight up and down out to your booms. Uh, we can go into a bypass mode. Or we can do this to the left is your tank rinse nozzle. Um, the bypass mode is for if you were going to use your solution pump to actually suck your product onto the tank. Um, to do that, we will turn this into bypass, and then over on the side here we have another bypass valve. Right here is the second valve that will turn into bypass. When we're doing this, we're actually switching the direction of where we want the solution to go from the pump. Uh, that way, our inlet, it will be sucking off the inlet, our solution in, and the other side of the pump is blowing it into the tank. Also right in front of us here is our tank fill. It is a three inch quick valve. Uh, when we go into bypass, and we have our hose hooked up, if we want to use the pump to suck it onto the tank, Right above us is the switch. We flip this to load. It'll automatically rev up the engine and turn the pump on itself. Simply when we're done, we'll shut the valve and flip it back to spray. It'll let the sprayer go back to idle and shut the pump off. Uh, back here, right by the left rear tire on the machine, right above us, uh, you see this shut off valve here. This is our agitation valve. It is electronically controlled in the cab with a switch in the armrest to have agitation on and off. But they also give us the option of a manual valve here. Uh, if it's a product that doesn't need a lot of agitation or anything like that, lots of times we can shut this about a quarter of the way down just so we're not using that much pump pressure to pump it all the way back into the tank all the time. Right below it is our two strainers. We have initially we got a 50 mesh strainer as this is going back to the boom and then we have the 80 mesh strainer. Um, lots of times in cold weather conditions and uh, running 28 uh, percent, 80 mesh is very fine sprayer. Lots of times we will go ahead and take the 80 mesh out. Um, to clean both these strainers uh, we have a shut off right here. This is a shut off going back to the boom so when your booms are raised you don't have solution coming back towards you. We will shut it off and on the very bottom of the sprayer, we will shut off the main valve to the tank. We can clean both of our strainers without having to empty any product or anything like that. We're now at the back of the boom in the center of the machine. As you can see, our solution comes back. We do have a main boom shut off right here. So if we have product in the tank, we want to come back here and work on anything, we can shut the solution off back here. As the solution comes back, Right in the center here, it goes through our flow meter. Um, our flow meter, this is what's reading the amount of material that is coming through the mouth of the boom. This is what your monitor is reading off of all the time. It's very important to keep this very clean. And you can see it will unscrew and has little fan blades in there. Uh, we recommend cleaning this daily. Use just normal can of brake parts cleaner and spray through there and make sure there's no foreign material in there. Also on the flow meter, there'll be a stainless tag. This tag has a number on the bottom of it. This is your calibration number that we'll put in the screen. As you go on down the line, we also have an orifice valve right here. This orifice valve, when we're shutting it down, we're not actually shutting anything off. Inside this valve is just a smaller drilled hole. And what this is for is when you get below 26 gallon per minute of pump flow, we're going to orifice this down. It holds little back pressure in the system, and this makes our flow meter a lot more accurate. If we get above 26 gallon a minute, we open the valve up, and it's just like straight climbing out to the boom. 
This is the front fill valve here on the uh, front of the sprayer. Basically to use this, we're just gonna open up this valve. We're gonna turn the switch on. We're gonna fill the solution tank up. And once we get done, we'll go ahead and close this yellow valve. We'll go ahead and turn our switch off and we're gonna open up our air purge valve. What this is gonna do is purge the whole line back to the solution tank. You wanna open it up for about 10 seconds, close it, and then you can just close it back down once, once the air gets purged out.